Today, we're going to talk about using the Upload Data tab and the My Data tab. My name is Donuts. I am the owner of TeamRiserFall.com. I'm going to first upload my projections into FancyCruncher.com via the Upload Data tab. So, I'm going to add a column today because today I'm going to upload some ratings. So the first thing I do is I click this blue button that says add and remove column. I typed in the word ratings because, well, I'm uploading ratings. So I'm going to go back to my cheat sheet. We have a copy paste tab and I am going to grab the projections and ratings all together. And I'm simply going to highlight and copy, go back here click the top left cell and click control V that will paste everything in how we want it. Now, the way our sheet is set up, uh, we have it set up so that it automatically pastes into the ratings column. If you do not have a sheet set up like this, you would simply just drop whatever data source you want into there. So if you had to, you could have simply just highlighted and copied the last column and dropped it in there individually. So we're ready to rock. I have now have the player name, I have a projection source, and I have a rating source. That means that I am able to now sort by the ratings because this is the new column that I have uploaded. You can also crunch by the ratings now that you've added a new column. So down here at the bottom, you can see there's my projections, FC projections, and maybe I wanna make my lineups using the ratings, and I can do that. Or I can simply crunch by the FC projections, if that's the option I want to use, or my projections, which would also be the TeamRiserFall.com projections. Now, once you set this up, sometimes you're going to want to go to the advanced options and slide over to the My Data tab. This is where you can kind of get funky with your lineups. You can set rules so that what happens in each crunch is exactly what you envision being the best path for success. So maybe I'm gonna slide down to here, and I've already uploaded the ratings, and I know that I want a minimum of a 300 total rating for each lineup. That means every single lineup that is created on Fancy Cruncher will have at least 300 as the total rating. Okay, so next, I'm going to crunch my lineups out, and you're gonna be able to see how I either crunch by my projections or FC projections or the ratings. And let's say I wanna crunch by the column I just uploaded. I think it's really important. I'm going to click this little gear button next to an already completed crunch, and I've gotta add the ratings column so I can watch this happen. Remember, I told Fantasy Cruncher that I wanted a minimum rating in every single lineup. So if my minimum rating was 300, every lineup would have at least 300 points in the lineup creation. And it looks like 300 might be a little low. So let's go back to my data and let's make this 400. Let's get crazy. I'm going to X this one out. See, this is disable or enabled. Right now, I have it enabled. So you can actually create rules and then use them later by enabling and disabling. So now I'm crunching out lineups. Every single lineup created will have a minimum of 400 in the total down here at the bottom. This is the sum total. And if you wanted to see what the projection was, uh, how many projected points, you could see all sorts of categories and columns by clicking this little gear and you can configure how you want to have your lineups look. You can also compare to FC projection. You can compare it with what your projection is and the ratings and then just have everything right there and you can kind of compare each category like this. Then you could turn around and sort it by clicking this tab, sort lineups, sort by ratings. And you can see, oh, wow, my highest projected lineup based on the ratings is 619 points. You could scroll all the way to the bottom and you would see the exact opposite. The lowest one we had is 522. So maybe now I want to try some lineups and say every lineup I want over 550 points. And you would redo it however you see one thing to remember while you're doing all these, not only can you see based on the configuration, but you can change based on how you want to crunch. Maybe I don't want to use ratings. And the next crunch, I want to use my projections. Or maybe I want to use fancy cruncher projections. And I crunch it out this way. I hope this was helpful. Check out the rest of our tutorials as we continue to take a look at all of the basics and advanced options in fancy cruncher.